Hi guys, welcome back to Hillside Homesteading. I'm Celicia. Now today we did a lot of cleaning. We did a lot of cleaning yesterday as well. We didn't capture all of it on camera, but I still wanna show you guys what we did because it's been raining a lot here. Today is one of the first days that it's actually been dry. We went ahead and cleaned out all of the pens here for the goats. We moved these yesterday, let it dry out all day. One of the days that it wasn't raining. Cleaned it all out and we put fresh bedding in there in both of them. So you can see there's quite a bit of room in here. And this is much, much better for kidding. We have the two boys actually in the goat barn. It is divided in two and we have both boys in there because we can't have them out with the does right now. Let's see if I can show you guys them real quick. There's Bucky on one side, and then we have BP here on the other side. And they're fine because they have each other to keep each other company, so works out really well that way. I'm trying to discourage these hens from trying to lay in here. Hey, you need to get out. Go lay in your coop. Come on, go on, go on, go on. No. We don't lay in here. Go on. Thank you, Rooster. Get your ladies. Tell them to go lay over there. We don't lay in the goat barn. This here on the milking stand, uh, there's no milk right now, but this is a mineral block. So we got this because we noticed some of our does were changing color a little bit. And I want to tell you guys about that a little bit. So with the mm -hmm. copper, <laughs> you'll notice that if your goats are deficient in copper, they actually will change color, like uh, their coats will lighten up or it'll change color yeah. altogether. And I've noticed that my pygmy here, MP, right here, the black one, she's not very black, even though she's supposed to be a black goat. Lately, she lightened up and she's been very like uh, copper colored, almost like a, a dark brown. And so we noticed that her color changed and that's a good indicator that your goats are deficient in copper. Wow, that's beautiful bouquet. On top of the loose minerals and the mineral block I'm giving them, I'm also going to give them a copper bolus, which is basically just a copper capsule that will last eight months to one year. So we went ahead and bought the copper. We also got them just a general goat mineral where it has all of the minerals, but we got both of them just to make sure that they're all getting the sufficient amount of copper and other minerals that they really need. So checking the color of the goats and just their coats in general, is a good indicator as to whether or not they have enough of the essential minerals, especially copper. The progress of the onions we planted in ground, they are doing so well, but we need some heavy weeding and that's what I'm about to do right now. So I went ahead and weeded everything and the garden patch just looks so much better. <laughs> and now it looks absolutely beautiful. It's perfect. Look at how big the elephant garlic looks.
look at how far along my girls are now. They are getting really round. Even the pygmies, they've been bred as well, but they're not as far along as Violet or MP. These two are gonna be the first to give birth and then the two pygmies here will be after them. So this is week five. I believe the beginning of week five or beginning of week six for the meat birds. Stop. We've moved their food and water outside because it's warm enough for them now and they're fully feathered out so they're fine. And their cute little run with the coop that we just built. So they only have about two to three weeks left to go. And then they'll be ready for butchering. These fresh dandelions on this hill look so beautiful. Okay, everyone, thank you for joining me for this episode here at Hillside Homesteading. I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay peaceful. Bye.